Hey guys, welcome back to another gaming video. Um, on this uh, video, I'm gonna play uh, Greed Knights. It's something a little bit different. Uh, you know, I've been playing the heck out of Among Us, but I thought I'd play this game. I have played this game uh, a little bit already, a couple of times, so I'm kind of familiar with how it works. Uh, a lot of things are automated, but I'll show you how it works. We'll just do a new game. And it's gonna have a tutorial, kind of show you what to do. But it's, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. And this is a little bit of a backstory as well. Pretty sick. So this part kind of gives you the beginning of how things work. He grabs a sword, and he starts with, you know, like any typical RPG starts with like basic land animals. I guess these are supposed to be my, uh, mice, but uh, the graphics are so uh, basic sometimes it's hard to tell what is what, but it looks like a mouse. So. But yeah, I'm not actually doing anything right now. A lot of this is automated, so. But then anyway, it. Uh, so. And you can edit, you can, um, you know, like edit your characters a little bit. If you go to your house. You can change your name, which all the names are automated too, so you just have a selection of to pick from. I'll probably go with William, and you can either be blonde, brunette, you know, blue net as it refers to, or essentially blue hair. Uh, you can be black. Uh, I'll just stick with the blonde hair because I have blonde hair. So, uh, and then it also gives you stats when you come to your house. So when you go to your house, you can. Uh, edit your character and uh, you can see your stats as well. Mission will take you to a mission. You can pick which mission you want. You want the open fields which is just the one we did. Forest which they get harder and harder as you go down. And then the inn of course is like where you can get some uh, up your HP and all that stuff rejuvenate. Gym you can do some training and uh, then the smith you can uh, from the well I can't speak from the blacksmith <laughs> you can uh, buy upgrade your items and all that good stuff so your standard RPG stuff but let's do another training in the uh, open fields like I said this is all automated I'm not actually clicking on anything because see my mouse is like way up here and they do all the fighting for you so it's extremely basic RPG but it's actually pretty addicting too. So. And then, of course, as you come up here, you can collect gold, of course, so you can buy new um, items. And it just keeps looping this over and over and over again until you decide to leave. When you exit, uh, you can exit whenever you want. So, if you feel like if you're fighting overpowered enemies that seem to be uh, taking your HP out, then you might want to go ahead and just leave and then, you know, go rejuvenate and come back. Um, you know, until you feel like you're ready to come back again. So... But my, let's see, and it colors it tells you, let's see, it's all your standard RPG stuff, so. My HP right now is at 6, and I got 6 pieces of gold. I'm going to see if I can get 10 pieces of gold, upgrade maybe a couple more weapons, and then I might go to the uh, forest, which I believe is the next place. It's a little bit harder, so. I kind of wish they would at least let you click on the enemies to have some interaction. Other than that, it's actually a pretty good standard game. I don't know if this was the creator's uh, game developer's first game they've ever made, or if this was the first official game they've ever just released. I'm not sure. So. Uh, let's see. I next level, I got five more, so I gotta kill five more of these things. Because these mouse only give you one uh, experience point. And then, uh, but the experts, I think you get two, three experience points from each enemy, but they can also attack you, so your HP will go down uh, much, much faster. Every time you walk through the door, your HP rejuvenates, too, by the way. So it's kind of like you're starting all over once you loop through the door again, which I'm going to come back, I think, one more time, and then I should be at the next level. Take this guy out, and go. Why not go ahead and just take this guy out as well? Because I got 15 gold. 
is now I'm at level 3, and so I'll go ahead and take this guy out, and then I'll go ahead and exit. Yeah. That's that. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the blacksmith and see if we can upgrade maybe our sword. Um, and now we'll have a little bit stronger of a sword. Let's go ahead and buy a shield. And then how many pieces I got left? I got gold. Four. So we have just enough to buy this ring. So now we're a little bit stronger. We'll probably have enough energy to go to the forest. So let's see what it's, how we handle ourselves here. Because now, like I said, we got a shield. We can protect ourselves a little bit. Which, they're, yeah, the, the mouse are here too, but they're just a little bit stronger. Yeah, I'm already at level 4, so that's good. And I got 14 gold pieces as well, so I can actually, once I leave here, I can actually probably upgrade my weapons a little bit more, and then we might see if we can tackle on the uh, third area. Okay, my HP went up, so... I got 30 gold pieces now, so... Once I go to the level 5, I should be able to just obliterate through these enemies. Alright, one more enemy should be able to get me to level 5. Then I'll go buy some more equipment, or some more, uh, stuff. Alright, level 5. Alright, let's go back to the blacksmith. Let's go ahead and upgrade my sword, and my shield, and the next ring. That should be good. I'm pretty... Got some pretty good stats going on now, so... Yeah. But yeah. Let's see if we can take on the cave and see how we do in here. Because these enemies are pretty strong. I think these are supposed to be like demons or whatever that you're fighting. Yeah, that took out a decent amount of my HP, so... Yeah. I may not make it through this. Okay, let's go ahead and exit. Uh, let's go back to the forest real quick. Should be able to take these guys out pretty easy. Oh, nope. Even died from them. <laughs> I guess I should have gone to the uh, inn. Uh, I guess we're going to have to do the forest a little bit more.
I know what we could do, is we could, uh, go in the cave and just fight one enemy. Once you walk through the door, it automatically rejuvenates your health, but if you leave, you don't walk through the door, so it doesn't give you any health. So let's see if I can fight two of these guys. I think I can make it through two, it's just the third one that takes me out. Yeah, I got through that, so. And then let's go to the end. Should be a way to, uh... I thought there was a way to rejuvenate your health here, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe you have to go in here? Hmm... Maybe if I went to open fields. I don't think these mice will give me any problem. Even if he attacks me, uh, I should be able to still make it by. Yeah. So, alright, now I'm back at full health. So let's... You kind of have to play around with the places and... But these demons give you so much uh, experience, so... But they just take out, like, over half your health fighting them. So it's like... You kind of grind against them, and then you have to go back and, like, get your health up a little bit. Yep, took him out, so... I only got, like, ten more points, so let's go back to the open fields and up my HP. I can't seem to figure out how to, uh, Maybe that's something you have to unlock. Uh, you have to maybe unlock the end and rejuvenate your health. I thought that you could do it at the end, but I guess not. So. Alright, I'm almost to level 6, so let's go back to the cave. And this one guy should get me up to level 6, I believe. Can't remember how much experience points they, one gives you. Can't remember. Oh no. Oh yeah, he got me up to level 6, so. so now I got some more gold pieces. I should be able to upgrade my weapons and stuff now, where I can take these demons on a little bit easier now. Okay, so let's exit, and let's go back to the blacksmith. Oh, these are pretty expensive, but at least I got a better shield. Let's go back to the open fields. Get myself healed up. I love the way this character walks. He's just like, his legs just bend, look like they're just bending backwards. It's kind of funny. Alright, now we got our health up. Now let's see how well we can handle these guys with a stronger sword and better shield. They might not take out quite as much HP now. Okay, good. Yeah, we did much better against him with a much better shield. I might be able to take on three of them now, maybe. Let's see. Okay, she's gonna take you to the door. I didn't know the door was bad through that second one, otherwise I would've just kept walking through. That's all good. You live and learn. I, I haven't played this level too much as compared to the first two, because like I said, I really just tried it out for a couple minutes to kind of see how things worked and stuff, and I, that's when I figured out, you know, kind of how the gameplay works and all that good stuff, so I didn't realize that, um, you know, this level worked like that, but yeah. So basically, you just want to kind of grind your way through this level a little bit longer, and then maybe once you get to like level 7, or up, at least upgrade maybe your weapons a little bit more, you might be able to take on um, the next place. So let's see. I really like the music in this game. It's kind of catchy, even though it's pretty much just the same long song. Oh, the same uh, song looping over and over and over again. But it's pretty catchy, I will admit. Okay, these guys, these demons aren't really giving us much XP anymore, so 
So we might need to go ahead and go up to the next place. Once we get a little bit more gold, I might be up upgrading my ring. Okay, yeah. Let's go here and see if we can upgrade my... Yeah. And can we upgrade my sword? How much is it? 64 now. I don't have enough. I don't have enough for anything now. So. Yeah, let's see how we do in the Iceland. See how much uh, HP they take out. Oh wow, pretty good. What was that, three points? They're giving some pretty good experience though. Uh, yeah, we didn't make it all the way through. They put out a little bit too much. But anyway, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Maybe in the uh, next video we'll, uh, we might have to grind a little bit more at the cave. And then maybe in the next video we'll take on Iceland. So. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.